We're back now on GMA and a new movie getting some scrutiny this morning. Amanda Knox is raising issues about Stillwater, which stars Matt Damon, and the resemblance she says it has to her real life experience when she was charged with murder in Italy. Overnight, Tom McCarthy, the director of the new film Stillwater, doubling down on the alleged parallels between his film and the true story of Amanda Knox. The father of the girl who ate the American student. Yes, ma'am. In a new interview with Variety magazine, McCarthy says, I deeply empathize with Amanda and what she went through, adding what she seems to be raising feels very removed from the film we actually made. Stillwater is a work of fiction and not about her life experience. This comes after Amanda Knox fired back at the film creators for drawing comparisons to her own ordeal. I loved her. I know you did. But everybody thinks that I killed her. The new film stars Matt Damon as an American dad who travels to France to help his daughter, who's been imprisoned for a murder she says she didn't commit. Knox says the movie is the latest work to rip off my story without my consent at the expense of my reputation. In an essay entitled, Who Owns My Name?, Knox, writing on the website Medium, says, Does my name belong to me? Does my face? What about my life, my story? Why is my name used to refer to events I had no hand in? Knox and her then-boyfriend, Raffaele Selecito, were convicted by Italian authorities for the 2007 murder of her roommate, Meredith Kircher, while studying abroad in Italy. In 2015, they were exonerated. In 2008, Rudy Gaudet, whose DNA was found at the murder scene, was found guilty of murdering Kircher in a separate trial. Last month at the Cannes Film Festival premiere, Tom McCarthy, the director of Stillwater, credited Knox's story as an inspiration during the development of the film. I was pretty fascinated with the Amanda Knox case back a long time ago and did a pretty deep dive into it. In an interview with Vanity Fair, McCarthy was quoted as saying, let's leave the Amanda Knox case behind. Instead, let's take the story of an American woman studying abroad involved in a sensational crime and fictionalize it. Knox says if you're going to do that, don't use her name to promote it. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.